as I live and breathe. You ever driven on the Hollywood freeway at five? You promised. No, no, I agreed. Don't you believe in following rules? Oh, come on, you're being bureaucratic for no reason. I told you I would prepare it first. <sighs> well, it's real X-rated stuff. I read about the kid's B-minus average and his history teacher's evaluation. You know, maybe a guard dog would help. Because, frankly, you got the paranoia of a White House staffer. Did you read this? No. Well, I suppose uh, maybe you should, since he is on the basketball team. Capsulized, please. The traffic's waiting. Collins left Palisades high for fighting. That rule applied here. You wouldn't have a student body. Yeah. Well, he's been fighting because of certain jokes that became too much. What kind of jokes? Fag jokes. Allegedly, he's a homosexual. Allegedly? Is he or isn't he? I don't know. Did the other players say anything to you? They knew I was off the deep end, but they didn't know why. Well, then what'd you say to them? I told them I'd been sitting on a nail all day. I called off practice early. What exactly was this kid doing? I mean, was he... Nothing. He was hand-checking. He was doing what any kid who's still growing up and is still clumsy would do. He planted his hand on Salami's hip. I'll tell you, this whole thing has got me scared to death. This kid, Collins, slaps Coolidge on the backside. I wince. He mixes it up tight under the boards, and I wince. If he talks to a girl, I think he's faking it. The other players, they know nothing? Thanks to the great white hope. I'll be honest with you again. I'm thinking of dropping him from the team. Oh, for God's sake, Ken. Well, I'm just thinking about it, that's all. But he hasn't done anything. That's why I think I should drop him before he tries to. I'm ashamed of you. You're ashamed of me? Where have you been for the past five years? You know, you sound like an Anita Bryant scare brochure. What's that supposed to mean? We don't even know if the kid's a homosexual in the first place. And even if he is, he hasn't done anything. You know, you're dealing with a 16-year-old kid, not a convicted sex offender. I'll tell you, this whole thing's making me crazy. Are you threatened by him? Of course not. What kind of a thing is that to say? What is that? I think you ought to step back and get your perspective. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. Ken, don't cut him from the team. It's not fair. <laughs> 